Dresses, something that I've never ever talked about on my YouTube channel, but I think this is important enough to talk about to help other buyers protect themselves, especially if you're new to this brand and you don't have another dress in your closet, or to help sellers that maybe have found this secondhand and wanna make sure that it's real before posting it on places like eBay, Poshmark, Depop or Mercari. We're gonna go over a reformation dress, a real one versus a fake one. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to tell you a little story about what happened yesterday with my wife. My wife bought this one off of Depop about a week ago from a seller in Australia and they mailed it to her via DHL. She just got it. She paid a hundred and 40 something dollars for it. It got here yesterday. She was super excited when the DHL guy got here because it actually got here a lot faster than she expected. She opened it up and she was absolutely furious. As soon as she felt the dress, the quality of it, the build of it compared to her other dress, she was like, this is not real, this is absolutely fake. So I immediately grabbed my phone, I took a picture of them both, posted a poll on Instagram, and there were some people that said, yes, there are reformation dresses that are fake, and there were some people that said, no, there's not reformation dresses that are fake. So apparently it's not very common, but it's still out there, and I wanna show you the differences between the real reformation dress and the fake reformation dress. And if you're not familiar with Reformation, it's a girly, sustainable, flowery, viscous company. I think they're out of Los Angeles where they make a lot of their stuff in the USA. They do make some stuff overseas. Uh, it's super popular right now. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. I don't think there is another resource like this on the internet yet, so I did want to bring it to you guys in order to help somebody that might be in a similar situation and be like, I think this is fake, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't have anything to compare it to. You can compare it to the video or you can compare it to some images in a blog post that my wife wrote and vented out. out but let's get into the dresses and I'll show you guys some up close details of these things and exactly why blue Juliet dress is real and the this Juliet dress is fake, knockoff, dupe, whatever you wanna call it. So to me, an untrained male, I don't really feel a difference in quality of the fabric, but my wife said she did when she felt it, just depending on how familiar you are with the touch of a Reformation piece. This is the authentic right here. You can see the seam. I wanna show you guys the stitching and the seam. You can see if you turn it inside out, there are some straggler threads if I turn that seam inside out. And you take the fake, do the same. It's actually a really nicely constructed piece. There aren't a bunch of sewing inconsistencies. So when you say, look at the stitching, the stitching might not tell the story. You have to look a little bit deeper. I had to pull out one of her other dresses to get a tag. Every Reformation piece should come with this hanging cardboard tag. As you can see, they look very, very similar to the naked eye, but when you start getting into details, there are some differences. The real tag has a white rope. The fake one has a black string. The real rope is twisted and the black string is just... I don't know, it looks like wax necklace string or something. The fonts are very, very similar where it says Reformation and then this is not printed on. It's kind of like stamped or embossed, like they punched it down into the cardboard. And if you can see, there are some light spots on the fake one where it says naked, it looks like it was not punched as hard on the NAK. And where it says sustainable, it's a little bit lighter in the middle of the sustainable. As with the real tag, it is uniform all the way across. When we go down here, it says we're number two. They forgot the apostrophe between W-E and R-E as on the real. It does have the apostrophe. Very subtle, but those are the differences. And we're gonna look at zippers now. The real one has this zipper and a clasp at the top. When you zip it all the way up, it also has a clasp. And if you turn the zipper around, it is indeed a YKK zipper. On the dupe, there is no clasp at the top. They definitely cheaped out. And this is not a YKK zipper. As you can see from the back, you would not notice that. And if you didn't have a piece to directly compare it to, you would just think this is authentic. We're gonna move down into the neck tag. 
the nape tag, whatever you want to call it. Let's so get these side by side. The tags themselves look very, very, very similar. You probably couldn't tell any difference other than the real one on this dress is sewn on the side a little bit down from the seam and the one on the fake was, it was sewn into this part of the fabric. I forget what my wife called it on the blog. It's got a specific name, I just can't think of it right now. And this tag was only sewn into the top corners. On this specific dress, it would be sewn on the sides not at the top and not at the very, very top of the garment. Here's another real one to compare it to where they do sew it in the corners, but you can see the entire stitch. It's still very uniform and it's not sewn into that top piece of fabric. It's still sewn a little bit down. The black dress is real, the white dress is fake, and the blue dress is real, just in case you were confused. Last but not least, when it comes to details, here is what the inside tag looks like. To the naked eye, they do look very similar and you wouldn't be able to tell. However, there are some differences once we get a little bit closer. As you can see, the size is to the left of the care tag and here the size is in the center. But there are some reformation pieces where the size tag is in the middle, just not on this specific dress. So that was another flaw that threw up a red flag. When we get closer to the fake, there are some words that are misspelled. Instead of birth defects, it says bete defects. And at the end, it says organic cisnars. It doesn't say organic cleaners like it's supposed to. And then the composition at the top also says it is a viscous rayon while the real Juliet dress says 100% viscous. It doesn't have any rayon in it. There are some more differences. Um, my wife also said that this one doesn't fit correctly. The measurements are off. While this one is a true size four, this one's more like a size six or something she was saying. So those differences I can't really show on camera as much, but, uh, but those other things I think are a dead giveaway if you were to run ac across the piece, please look into this detailing. So she bought this off of Depop, which is a platform that I'm not super familiar with, but she did tell me they only allow four pictures and the seller had two stock photos and I think two photos that didn't show any of those details where we saw the mistakes. And my wife bought it thinking it was a deal at 170 Australian, which is like 140 US. We're not going to throw the seller under the bus and call them out because we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that they did not themselves know that it was inauthentic. That specific seller was a consigner and she said her friend gave it to her in order to sell, which does happen a lot in Poshmark space, eBay space, whatever. So we did reach out to her, letting her know the problems with the dress she offered to take a return. So we asked her to email us a return label. Then she messaged us back saying that she spoke to her friend, saw how much a return label would cost in her friend, and her friend changed her mind of wanting to take the return and she just said we could keep the dress and get a full refund. Happy story in the end, plus we get to put some information out there to help somebody else as a buyer or as a seller to help authenticate their reformation. This is by no means an ultimate guide or authority because there's going to be different manufacturers out there from different countries that are copying it, trying to make dupes, that might slightly vary from this. More than likely still going to make mistakes and that's where your due diligence can come in and using proper garments as a reference. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you wanna read her perspective of the story and see the blog post, I will put a link to that in the description. I hope you learned something and I will talk to you in the next video. Probably won't be about dresses, bye.